Hello and welcome to Study with Sudhir, your digital classroom and I am T.S. Sudhir. Important information coming in as far as different entrance examinations like NEET, IIT, JEE are concerned and much of this information is actually coming in from the Union HRD Minister Ramesh Pokhrial Nishank. So one can safely assume that he would have discussed all this with officials of the Education Ministry, also officials of different boards that are involved in the conduct of these examinations. Okay, so the first question that we need to address and probably we have some idea about it is when will the entrance examinations be held? Now, in a series of interviews to different publications, the minister has said that those class 12 students who intend to appear for these entrance examinations like IIT, JEE and NEET, these examinations will not be conducted in the month of May but in the month of August. June. So that's the big point. The IIT JEE mains and NEET exams are likely to be conducted only in the month of June because May is largely going to be a very tentative period. I mean there could be partial relaxation of the lockdown in many states but the entire infrastructure, the ecosystem will not be working at 100%. It's quite possible that the transport sector is not working with all its fleet. So India would not be in the best possible space in the month of May. June, hopefully, touch wood, we would be in a better space. Also important here is that the minister is talking about conducting the IIT mains examination in the month of June, which means that the IIT advanced can be conducted only three to four weeks after that. So we would be looking at the either the last week of June, depending on when the IIT mains date is, or in the month of July, most likely July. So that's the first big point. What about class 12 examinations of CBSC and ISC? Will they also be held in June? So listen to this carefully. Now look, if the situation is not conducive to conduct, conduct the examinations of uh, these entrance exams in May, it's quite possible that the same rule will apply even to the CBSE and the ISC examinations which were postponed in the month of March. But all this will be decided only in the first week of May when the national lockdown officially ends on the 3rd of May. And as on date, we are still about what? About 12 days away from there. The other important point is that schools in many states have been asked to be shut till the second week of June. So conducting these board exams which were, were postponed in the month of May would mean they need to get the infrastructure in all these schools in these states up and running. Will that happen? That's a big question mark. Also, what will be important for the boards and the um, officials involved in the conduct of the entrance examination, what they will need to coordinate is that if exams are held in the month of June, they will need to take care to ensure that the dates of the board exams of class 12, whatever the pending papers are, and the competitive exams do not overlap. There has to be some kind of a gap between the two. That is something the officials will need to coordinate and ensure that is taken care of. Now, the third question, what happens to the ICSC class 10 pending papers. There are still about three to four papers still pending for various students. Now, if the assessment in the first week of May is that the situation is not completely conducive to the conduct of examinations, it is quite possible that these remaining exams may also be conducted in the month of June. This, what we said about the schools, the same will apply to the ICSC class 10 also. Okay. Though the number of ICSE schools is much less than that of CBSE, but again, just to get those few schools to be up and running, we do not know whether the ICSE will be able to do that uniformly throughout the country. Because it's quite possible that some states may be in a better position as far as combating coronavirus pandemic is concerned. Some states may not be in a similar situation. So they will need to take a call depending on the situation on the ground uniformly in all the states and union territories of India. Okay. Will exams be cancelled? That's another frequently asked question from many students. Now I spoke to a senior official of the council and he's in a decision making authority and he said 
till now that option has not been considered uh, the situation is dynamic and the decision will be taken only after the government declares its position on the lockdown the cbsc has also made it very clear that so far the cancellation of the exams that option is not on the table at all that is not being considered or discussed at this point in time fourth question will there be a reduction in the syllabus for the next academic year 2020-21 yes cbsc has already begun the work on assessing how much of teaching time is being lost and is likely to be lost okay though it must be said that many schools are trying to um, organize the online classes but we need to remember that india is not just in the big cities india is also in many of the small towns where cbsc and icsc and state board classes schools are there there the net connectivity will not be perfect everywhere and you cannot have a situation where some schools are able to teach with the help of online classes and some schools are not able to teach okay so the cbsc the icsc and the various state boards will take all this into account so cbsc will proportionately reduce the curriculum workload for 2020-21 listen to this again cbsc will proportionately reduce the curriculum workload for 2020-21 already i think some changes have been made as far as the physics syllabus is concerned for class 12 and you can expect that if cbsc does so icsc and state boards also will do the same what those changes will be to what extent is the syllabus reduced obviously they will uh, declare it uh, closer to when the schools are about to reopen certain chapters which are deemed not so important could well be removed from the next year's academic syllabus that process will obviously take some time fifth and the last point what happens to this next academic year when is it likely to start now the academic year definitely will be delayed for first year college students whichever course whichever stream professional non-professional course that you are going to opt for for school students look at june as an opening date especially for the non-class 10 and um, uh, for the non-class 11 students sorry uh, this period may be treated as an extended summer vacation so except for class 11 students which who may actually take a little more time depending on when their exams are completed and the results are announced the others could have their schools reopening sometime in the month of june now will this impact the dates of your final exams next year in february march 2021 it could by a few days but that would largely depend on whether the syllabus is reduced how much the syllabus is reduced by and whether the different boards the cbsc the icsc and the state boards feel that the students have got adequate time to prepare for your ex final exams which are normally held in the month of end of february march okay so these were the five big points which i thought you sh students should know about the developments taking place as we speak and the entire education system in a sense getting ready for life post the national lockdown whenever it is lifted i hope it's very clear thank you very much for watching